Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to change the screen on a Lenovo ThinkPad X121e. Now I'm pretty sure that this procedure will work on most any laptop uh, in the 120 series that's been made uh, from 2012 to 2013 and uh, this is the 111.6 model. Now I managed to crack my screen by stepping on it and contacted Lenovo to see uh, how expensive it will be to repair it and since my warranty doesn't actually cover this sort of damage then I had to actually spend about 400 euros to get this repaired that's a bit much because that's like two-thirds of the price for a new machine so I figured what the hell let's just try and change this myself so I went online to eBay and just googled or well eBayed the number of the machine and found a screen that matched. Now you just have to make sure that the inches is the correct one and it's the same model that you're using and uh, also you have to check if it's glossy or uh, or matte. Now I actually had a matte screen and I accidentally ordered the glossy screen but in the end it doesn't really matter. It's a bit more reflections but I can live with that. So Let's get started. All you need is actually a flat surface, a new screen, and a crosshead screwdriver that's small enough to do the little screws on the Lenovo. Other than that, you should be fine. I've heard some people using like guitar picks and stuff, but I came out pretty nice with just using my fingers. So let's start this. Now the first thing you want to do is actually remove the battery of the unit. And also make sure that you're not wearing any th synthetic stuff that will uh, generate static electricity. Now this is just a general rule when you're working with computers because if you get a, a, a short circuit on one of these chips then everything will be gone. Now you will be working with the screen so that really won't be a problem but still let's be precautious. Second, remove the rubber uh, ends on the front of the computer that will re reveal the four screws that you need to unscrew. Use your crosshead screwdriver to screw out uh, all the four screws and make sure to place them somewhere on the flat surface where they don't roll off if you don't want to lose your screws. Next step would be to remove the bezel of the screen. Use your fingers from the inside of the screen and gently pry it open. Now you will hear a little snap as the clamps from the back side actually loosen from the backboard. Now don't worry about this, but you need to be careful not to break them. So use some force, but just be careful. Especially around the camera, the bezel will be a bit harder to get off. So again, just use a bit of force and pull it out there. Once the entire bevel of the screen is loose, just gently put it aside and uh, get to work on the next step. Now first we want to loosen the actual screen frame from the back plate of the computer. There are two small screws in the bottom of the screen that needs to be loosened. those screws are loose, you will realize that the back plate will actually bend away from the screen, leaving like the screen frame hanging in the air. This is a good thing, don't worry about it. This is probably also a good time to bring out your new screen and take it out of its package. Also to check that you actually got the right screen, and also just to take a general look at the screen to see where the which pieces are supposed to be part of the screen and which pieces are part of the frame. You will see that the actual screen is mounted on the frame with four screws in each corner. Gently screw these screws out. The screen is loose from the frame. Just gently lay it down on your keyboard and then you will see the connector actually in the bottom of the screen. Now it's fastened with a, with a plastic tape that it's well it's actually pretty hard to get off so you need to get in there maybe get a pair of scissors or something just to pry it off but just gently get the tape off so that the connector is loosened now 
Once the hassle of the tape, when it's loose, the connector should plug right out. Then it's time to just discard of your old screen. Take off the packaging of your new screen and uh, take off the styrofoam protective film that's on the front, but leave the protective plastic film on there for now. Lay down the screen on your keyboard and gently put in the connector to the PC. Then, once it's fastened and all the way in, make sure you use your fingers, just get it in there. Once the connector is in, just get a piece of plastic clear tape and just cut it to size and secure the connector to the screen so it doesn't fall off when you're opening and closing the lid. Once the connector is secure, bend up the screen and try and align it to the metal frame it's supposed to hang in. Now make sure that you align the bottoms to the little shelves it's supposed to sit on. Now the first time I did this in this tutorial, I actually missed, so I have to screw it up again and put it back. But just do it right the first time, it's much easier. Screw in the four screws that you took out and fasten the screen to the frame. This is also a good time to check if you don't ha that you don't have any unwanted debris behind the screen, like cat hairs and stuff like that. So it's been open now, so just check. You don't need a air can that I have, but uh, it's, it's practical. Now connect the back plate again to the metal frame. This is done with the two screws in the bottom. That's all you need. When the back plate is secure, it's time to put on the bezel on the screen. Before you do this, remember to take off the protection from the screen on, that's in the front there. Just grab the little red tape there and just pull it off. This is the fun part. You know this. Then to put on the bezel, just put it in place, we're starting with the feet, going into the sockets, and then just go around the frame using your fingers and gently push it in, hearing the clicks and the little, you know, good sounds of things fitting into each other. Yeah, you're gonna work a bit with this. It's gonna take a while, but use your time and don't stress it. It should snap in pretty easily. Also, flip it around to take the back of the screen. When the bezel is in place, just use your four screws and screw it tightly. When the screws are done, remember to put back the rubber protection that is supposed to go over the screws. Well, if the tape is a bit loose, you might need to glue these on, but the tape should hold. So, just try and keep them clean during the process, and they should fit right in there. When the bezel is in place, just take a little extra look around to see if nothing's sticking out or bel bulging out or something, and it should be quite secure. Then we should be ready to test this and see if this works. So simply put in your battery and boot your computer. And there you go, a new functioning, well now, glossy, 11.6 inch screen for the Lenovo X121e with a repair cost of about 70 euros and a repair time of about 20 minutes. Now, if you're supposed to do this by yourself, I would probably set about an hour. And uh, also remember to check your warranty with the Lenovo first. If your warranty is valid, you want them to do the repairs instead so that your warranty will always stay valid next time frame forward. But I hope this tutorial will help you to do this yourself. If not, and, uh, well, I, uh, this is my first tutorial video, I might do more of them, if so, but I don't have any call-off sign yet, but uh, I guess I'll talk to you later.